So you guys special teams. What what has he brought to you guys this season? Uh, you know, he just brought a lot of schematics and, you know, putting guys in the right situations to make plays. And it's just up to you to make the play. You know, it's up to you to make the block. You know, he does a great job each night, each game, you know, drawing up their scheme and what they what they think of us and then writing, the, then writing our game plan on what he thinks they think of us by what we put on tape. Then he just counteracts that and then you just go in the game. You just got to make it work. Do you feel like his, in, I mean, his influence, not only technique, but, I mean, just as What's his influence like attitude wise on you guys? Uh, he feels as though we should have at least one block kick, one return, one substantial play in, in the special teams each and every game. And we believe that as well. So, you know, we just want to keep pushing and keep pushing. My final question about John just going back from the beginning of the year to now, just looking at kind of the leaps and bounds that you guys have made as, as special teams. Uh, you know, we definitely came a lot, uh, far and a long way. You know, it's, it's not been easy. You know, it's countless mistakes that have been made. But, you know, as coaches, as Coach Harbaugh always says, you get better by, at football by playing football. You know, that's our approach to it. You know, just go out there, play as hard as you can, as fast as you can, as long as you can, and don't worry. So that's our approach to it. How's your body feel right now? And how many plays, if they asked you to play 90 plays on Saturday, would you be able to do that? Absolutely. You know, it's, it's, it's November. Nobody feels 100% at this point in time. But, it's all about competing and persevering and, you know, pushing your body to the limit, you know, getting in the treatment room, taking care of your body, you know, and uh, just playing to your best best ability. Coach Harbaugh said you're a good running back and maybe you'll see more action there. How would you how would you feel about that? Uh, whatever's best for the team. You know, that's my approach to it. Um, that's a great compliment coming from him. You know, I just try to just use my vision, use the blocks, use the scheme, keep that in mind and just let my instincts take over. If you could only play one spot, what would it be? That's a tough question. I don't know. <laughs> I can't really answer that question for you. For you, I mean, a lot of people say when they come to Michigan, that this rivalry game is a big thing for them in that decision to come. This being your first participation in that game, what's your excitement level like? Uh, I'm very excited. You know, when you come to Michigan, this is Michigan State and Ohio State. You know, those are the big games in your schedule, and you know, historically and, tr and traditionally. You know, so but we definitely taking it the same approach as we did last week and the week before. You know. The biggest game is the next game, and this happens to be the next game now. It's Ohio State, so, you know, it, it adds that little extra oomph. And, you know, if you have any ounce of competitive blood in your spirit, you know, you get roused at a game like this. You know, they have a lot of players and a lot of great competitors, and so do we. So, you know, we're just looking forward to it. You know, it's going to be a dog fight, and, you know, just can't wait for it. Jabril, you said uh, you grew up rooting for Michigan. Was there a moment, remember, in this in this series, this rivalry, that you knew that you wanted to play in this game? Uh, I was too I was too young when it happened, but you know, when you're a fan, you like to do your research and your history, you look up videos, and you know, it was when um, Charles Wilson, you know, he had to he had the punt return, he had a catch, and he had a pick in the back of the end zone. And after the game, I just seeing what the roles. Uh, with the rose in his mouth, walking off and smiling. So, you no, know, that was a big moment, I guess, that, you know, made me want to come here, you know, try to do the same thing, had the same feeling. Did you see the tweet that he put out there with you and him on the same uh, field? Uh, a and while ago? Yeah. Yeah, I did see it. What did you think of that? It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Very hard one. Have you had a chance to talk to him at all? Uh, since then? Yeah. Yeah, but not, not too in-depth, you know, just things he thinks I should get better at and, you know, a little point in sharing there. Well, how, how, I mean, you mentioned this to Jared, we're talking about Ohio State and all that. How, how fast it seems like you guys just got out of the submarine not too long ago. How yeah. fast is this season? Season, you know, compared to camp, you know, season definitely flew by. <laughs> but, um, you know, hey, man, just you just got to love it. You just got to enjoy it. You know, take take the great moments, take the bad moments, and, you know, just keep pushing, keep getting better. When you when you think about just the anticipation of this weekend, and it is a big weekend for you guys, and, and how far you guys have come, and, have you guys talked about that? I mean, you're staring down a ton when regular season. Uh, we just take it one game at a time. You know, we take care of what we have to take care of. Everything will take care of itself. You know, so that's that's how we look at it. You know, we don't. There's no pressure when you're prepared. You know, we're prepared for this. You know, we've been through adversity. You know, we know how to face adversity. And um, you know, we have a lot of great competitors. They have a lot of great competitors. So it's gonna be a great game. I can't wait. Do you know the history behind Jim Harbaugh's guarantee in 1986? Uh, I've, I read something about it, but I don't know the full story, no. Okay. So you haven't seen the video of him flat out guaranteed? <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. That sounds like something you would definitely do, though. <laughs> Does it sound like something that one of his players would do, or do you know uh, better? No, 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 I don't know. We wouldn't you know, go as far as to guarantee anything, but yeah. what we can guarantee is that you know, you're going to see a 
defense flying around like maniacs. You're going to see a lot of tenacious and hungry guys on the offense. And you're going to see guys with their hair on fire on special teams, you know, because, you know, this game, you know, makes the back year, it makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. And you want to you wanna play to your best potential in any game. But most definitely this game in the big house, you know, it can't get any better than that. How much do you want to win for the seniors? I want to win it so bad. And I'm going to do whatever I can, play as many positions as I can, take as many snaps as I can as, as, as all of us. All of us feel the same way. You know, send these guys off right and, you know, put an exclamation mark on the season. You know, and anything could happen, you know, but we're just taking it one thing at a time, controlling the controllables and let the pieces fall where they may. I thought I mentioned that you played during the conference call today, rattled off eight positions. Is that, I mean, is that surprising? Do you look back and Right now, to the start of the season, did you think you would end up playing eight different positions? Um, you know, they alluded to using me in various ways, but um, as far as as many positions, you know, I just think of it as offensive offensive skill positions and defensive skill positions. Those only positions I know. You know, whether it's running back, slot, you know, they basically all are the same thing in their own kind of way. You know, so I guess you guys do a great job of breaking it down. You know, and then actually. Like putting out how many positions that I play, but I just think of it as you know, offensive skill guy, defensive skill guy, special team skill guy. So that's how I look at it. Going forward in your career, would you would it be your preference to continue playing in all phases like you're doing now? I mean, do you want to be kind of pigeonholed into one one position? Uh, I want to do what's best for the team and where they can use me to best impact the game. You know, that's 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 how I look at it. You know, they. They put everybody in spots to win, and they do a great job putting me in spots where I can excel. I just got to make plays, and that's my approach to it. Physically and mentally, though, do you think you'd be capable of doing this on a – I mean, you haven't done this all year. I mean, you've, you've you know, carefully added positions, but do you think you could handle it for a whole season? I think I can, you know, but it's, it's, it's ultimately it's up to those guys up there. You know, they put together stellar game plans and, you know, put us where we can excel. So – they come to me and tell me that I need to do that, then let's do it. If not, then let's not do it. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's ultimately up to them. I'm, I'm, I'm down for whatever helps the team. Gabriel, did you, uh, did you go to Columbus last season for the game, or did you stay behind? I did. I stayed behind. Did you, so. Where'd you watch it at? Uh, I watched it in my dorm actually. How was that? How, what was that like for you? you I mean, um, that was the biggest game of the year, obviously. You get to play. You no, know, it was kind of. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, I was mad because I couldn't play and I, that I couldn't be there. You know, to cheer the guys on, but at the same time. You know, I, I, I knew that my time was coming and, you know, just take everything as a learning experience, you know, support the guys from home. You know, I knew they prepared a great week and, and practice for the game. And, you know, but it was definitely heartbreaking to lose. You know, we each and every year, you know, we come out strong. We just got to finish. That's Do you, how, did you that's watch it alone? Do you watch it with teammates? Or um, I watched it with a couple teammates, a couple yeah. Teammates. yeah.